the TCP 5 port gigabit PoE switch. What's in the box and what is it and how do you use it? Well, stick around and find out. Hi, I'm David of Tech Experts and I help entrepreneurs to close the gaps that exist across the tools needed for your online business. And today I'm going to go over an unboxing and show you what it looks like when I plug up and connect my PoE switch. What is that? Well, a PoE switch means it's power over Ethernet switch. So it means it's a switch that has ports that gives you power when you want to power a device on the other end, like a security camera or an access point for your Wi-Fi, or maybe you have a conference phone that needs power. All of those use PoE switches. A PoE plus is what they're calling it, switch. It's got five ports. Four of them will let you do the power over the ethernet. So you don't have to run extra power cord to those devices. Now, before I get to the unboxing, first, I want to welcome you to my channel. I hope you find my videos helpful. If so, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button for me. Now, if you like the videos I'm putting out, please give me the big thumbs up as it helps me reach more people and hit the little notification bell so you stay notified whenever new content is released. Okay, let's get into this unboxing. All right, this is an unboxing for our TP-Link 5 gigabit desktop PoE Plus switch with a lifetime warranty. This is considered a business class solution switch. It has four PoE or power over ethernet ports for a total of 65 watts of power total um, for budgeted across all four ports. So, when we look at that and we see that 65 watts, that's all four ports that you can do the full 65 against. So it is gig gigabit and it has the first four ports are going to be the power over Ethernet. The fifth port will just be a standard port. A couple of little lights on it. Nice looking box here. When we flip it over and turn it around. We see it's designed for you to be able to connect your things like your security cam, your access points, and phones all through these type of things that need power. So that's what you're looking for. These are a perfect fit for that. Has the nice little specs on the side that tells you the full speed of it. And that's rated at uh, 30 watts maximum for one port. So one port will do a full 30 watts of power if you need over it. Otherwise, it's averaging, I think, about 18 watts on a port. It's approximately what you're getting. So you have enough to run a security camera if you're running for all four ports. And that's really the big thing I want to be able to do with this. So we're going to open this up. Slide on it. And this is what I have in the box. Nice little switch. It's designed to be mounted so you can mount it on a wall if you want to and hang it. It has a power port on the back. It has the ability to be locked to a surface if you want to do that as well. Vents on both sides. And then it shows you which ports are which. So ports 1 through 4 are power over Ethernet. And switch 5 is just your full gigabit uh, switch. That's normally the one you would connect into your router. And then use the other four ports for whatever you need to use it for. And it, you see the little indents. It does come with rubber feet in the box. There's a big heavy-duty power cord. Stick on rubber feeties so you can put it on a desk and have it cushioned that way. Installation guide and a big power adapter block. So the cable out of it is small, but the other end of it is big and heavy. That's why you get the big power cord. So there's enough power in here to power up all those Ethernet ports and push power to them for your devices. Okay, so that's what's in the box, and I said I would let you see what it looks like all hooked up. 
So I did that. I have a network cable connected in to the main switch. So you can see how it lights up and is working. I have the power in and I'm using the power through a UPS as well. So keep that in mind. Whenever you're running a switch, you I recommend you always plug your switch into a UPS. It's a battery backup. So if the power goes out, your switch gets continued run and it continues to power all the devices that you need as long as there's battery left in the battery backup. All right, so this is what it looks like. Move the key there. So you see the green lights are, the one green light tells me I'm at full gigabit, and the other green light tells me I have power. And then on the back, you see the power cord, and on the bottom, I put on the little rubber feet so that it is connected and I can put it on my desk. Now, if I wanted to mount it on the wall, I would just put some screws and lock it in that way, and you can basically mount it in whichever direction you need which is really nice so that if your switch cables are coming down, you can just drop them right in. Or if you want to hang it down where something's below it and you're connecting it up, you can do it that way. And if you want to do one of the sideways directions, you can do either of those as well. It lets you do any of those directions, but I have the rubber mats. I'm putting it on a little shelf underneath my desk next to my router. And then it just plugs in the two of them together and then I'll plug in the cameras when I get those and get those set up into it. So that's why I'm doing this for the PoE part is so that I can power my security cameras around my house. It'll let me do up to four cameras. And remember, you just need to figure out how much power you're getting to each port. As it says, it's 65 watts total. That's a maximum of power for all the ports, but it doesn't push 65 to all uh, the ports. It'll do a maximum of 30 to a single port. Otherwise, you divide the 65 by 4. So the maximum port, port push is about 16 watts you'll get per port. You'll probably see about 16 to 12. And that should be enough for four cameras, each getting full power. Just make sure that if this is the one you want, that it's got enough power for the number of the devices you're connecting. And you can always look up the specs to make sure that the power level is greater per port than whatever you need to push to. So most cameras run about 12, I've seen, um, on the watts they need for the power to be pushed to them for over PoE. So with this at about 16 watts per channel or per port, I uh, should be just fine. Remember, if you're reducing the number of cameras on the device, then you should be able to push more power. So I'm guessing if I split it, I can get at least 30 watts on two channels because the 30 watts is the maximum channel push. It has 65, so I think it should divide perfectly on two channels at 30 watts maximum, but I don't really need that much. A camera should only pull up, like I said, I think my cameras are gonna pull about 12, so it should be fine if it pulls 16 or less. As long as it's more than 12 or more than whatever the camera needs, I'll be fine. And I think I matched up pretty good. I'll keep that all in the description down below and then you can check out those links. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please share it with your friends and family. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. I always ask you to subscribe because I want to keep you in the know. We have more how do I guides, more tech tips, more reviews, and more things we want you to be in the know about, like why you should use a UPS whenever you're putting a switch or a router in place. Now, if you haven't done so yet, please check out my show's description. Down below, I'll link up the switch. I'll also link up a UPS for you in there, and I'll link up some links to different lengths and different runs of network cables, because no cables come with the come come in the box. And I'll even link up some security cameras as well. I just know all those links are affiliate links. The affiliate links do pay me a small commission. That commission continues to help me make amazing and new content like this. I want to know what is your network gear that you use. Let me know in the comments section down below. Again, I'm Dave of Tech Experts, and I look forward to working with you.